Hello everyone, all who are in one body of Christ, our Savior welcomes to the seal that has given us together. Today we meditate meditating upon. Encourage someone and bring them from hopelessness to hope. Before we start, let's see what Scripture talks about in this topic. Exodus chapter 14, verse 14. The Lord will fight for you and you will have only to be silent. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we've just read. When everything seems to be falling apart and life seems hopeless, we must meditate on the word of God, especially considering the people like Job or Jeremiah who wanted to give up but overcame their trials. Our enemy, the devil, wants us to fail and lose hope, and he wants us to start losing faith. He wants to destroy us, but we will not prevail against God's love, and God's love never fails. God will never leave us nor forsake us because we are his children. God can't lie, and he will not leave us or us alone hanging in the midst of our trouble if god allowed us to go through some situation rest assured that we will have a future god god's will is a wide road but not always the easiest way if we have faith we will get through it god makes a way when there seems to be no way he will help us just to ask because he knows we will not be put to shame but trust in the lord Trust in His Word because God will guide us, commit to Him, walk to Him, and continually talk to Jesus. Hopelessness leads to depression. That is why it's crucial that we always set our mind on Christ, which can, which will bring us peace like no other can. This message also gives a promise for our day today. The promise is, Surely there is a future and your hope will not be cut off. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty, wonderful God, Lord, help me to build a faith and make me strong in my circumstances or situations I am going through. Help me to build my trust in you and guide me in every single step of my life. Also, help me to spread the same true hope to all others around me. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone, and if God's doing, I'll talk to you tomorrow.